everyone, welcome back to my channel and you're watching The Brown Feminist. In today's episode, I'm going to be answering one key question that lots of you have been asking me over and over again. And that is, what is the top or what are some of the top clinical research programs that can be done in Canadian colleges and universities? So without further ado, let's get into it. Before we start, let's get two things clear. One is that these are all programs at the graduate level, which means you would by now already have a bachelor's degree or a college diploma done at the post-secondary level. And then you're deciding to kind of go into clinical research. The second thing is that I've realized a lot of the questions I've had were from international students who are aspiring to study in Canada, while a lot of others have been asking me from a different point of view when they're already living in Canada, whether as a citizen, permanent resident, someone on a work permit, and they're thinking about also making a career in clinical research. So because the answer for these two groups of people are a little bit different in today's video, I will be providing the answers to you in two different sections. For the first part, I'm going to be telling you guys if you're already living in Canada, if you're already a Canadian resident, a permanent resident, citizen, or you're studying in Canada and you want to change your field or you want to add on something or you have a work permit and you reside here, in those cases, what are some good clinical research programs or certifications, diplomas, online tools that you can use to kind of navigate your career towards clinical research, assuming that this is at the graduate level. So let's start with this section. And in the second half, I will be talking to you more about how international students can consider also building a research-based, clinical research-based career in Canada and what programs would be a better fit for them. So let's get started. So the first thing that I did in order to answer this question is I did a lot of research myself. I spoke to my coworkers in the field as well as did online searches of terms like clinical research program and clinical research certification. And a lot of what I was seeing are very flexible online certificates and diplomas. Now the benefit of this is that you can do it while you're already working in a different field. You can do this while kind of trying and going through school for something else full time and doing this part time. A lot of it is self paced. So that means you can finish it super quick all at once if you're not doing anything else right now. Maybe it's like a gap year and you're figuring out what to do. Or you can also spread it out over a year or two years, take fewer courses per term if you're actually maybe in a full-time position, but you want to get this done and slowly kind of edge towards a career in clinical research. The first one that really stood out to me was from McMaster University, and it is a one-year self-paced program, which is called Applied Clinical Research Program. Now, benefits, it is 100% online. It is from a credible and reputed academic institution. It's self-paced, so you can kind of choose how many courses to take per term. And overall, it's a really good idea if you're already residing in Canada. And one of the reasons I say that is because if you're doing a 100% online program, you would not necessarily get a study permit to enter Canada and you would not be able to get associated work experiences related to this degree in Canada. Um, for 100% online programs, you would still be residing in your country of origin and doing it from there. And honestly speaking, a lot of clinical research requires hands-on support and experience. So when you have these 100% online programs, it's really good to start doing the courses, but also start looking for internships and co-op opportunities, part-time RA ships, full-time clinical trial assistantships and things like that. So being in Canada would really enable you to get the full benefits of this program, especially because it's 100% online. Also, it's so excellent, so fluid, so flexible around your schedule and self-paced that it is a pretty good one that stood out to me. The second one is from Seneca College and it is a one-year certificate program in clinical research and they offer one work term. 
So this could technically also apply to international students, but it really depends on the duration, what country you're from, what the study permit requirements are. Because from a lot of countries, you don't really get a study permit unless the course is a full on diploma or it's like a year and a half long at a minimum. Um, so this one year program can be finished a little bit earlier as well. And this optional work term is amazing. Please don't just let it be optional. Make sure you utilize this option. Make sure you opt into it. Make sure your grades and every other requirement are met so you can take advantage of this optional work term. This work term is what made this program stand up according to me. Um, I think any kind of program, especially at this graduate level, it's really important to have some industry experience, some work experience through the program. So you can start building your network, you can start getting your references, start kind of getting a taste of what it's like to work in that field and use and apply some of the knowledge from the classroom into the industry space. So number two was Seneca College and their one-year clinical research certification. Number three is Humber College's online certificate in clinical research. Now this program, from what it seemed like to me, they weren't opening admission to international students. Now, I don't know if this is temporary for COVID or if it's long term, um, but as for Canadian students, admission was open and they essentially have two online terms of coursework and then one three month internship of a certain number of hours that the program would kind of help place you in. So again, a really great opportunity of going for these kind of college level certifications. If you have a prior bachelor's degree, if you have a prior college diploma, is because they'll not only kind of give you the tools and tips and tricks about like good clinical practice and ethics and all of that in the classroom, but also help you get that first internship, that first co-op placement. So it looks like you've done work on your resume and you actually get that real life feeling and experiences. You can start making those connections while you're working and ask about, hey, if I wanted to come back here and work here full time, what are the opportunities? So many options and doors really open up when you're doing these internship portions. So number three, once again, was Humber College's one year certification, which has two online terms followed by a three month internship in clinical research. Number four was York University's Certificate in Clinical Research, which again was a year long and it was part time and online, which is again great. If it's part time online, you're able to do it alongside your full time job or alongside whatever it is that you're doing. And so there's that bit of flexibility. So they did mention on the university site that it was a combination of live sessions where you had to like engage with your peers, as well as asynchronous learning, which is part that you could do on your own time and just you can access course materials. So this combination definitely makes it more interesting because it's not just you reading on your own time, but there are components of the course where you will have to engage with your peers and your professors and have a more robust learning experience. Number five was NAC. I had never heard of NAC before. Apparently it's called North America College and it seemed from their website that they have campuses in Toronto and Scarborough. Now full disclosure, never heard of them, not really sure what kind of an institute they are, not sure about their reputation, but they did seem to have um, a 48 week diploma um, with less than a year but you know, there's not a lot of intern like information on the website. So everything that I looked at kept saying request info, request kind of, yeah, it seemed a little bit gimmicky, but I mean, they had a very flexible 48 week diploma and diplomas are usually a little bit more seriously considered than certification. So if you're interested, if this is something that works for you, look into it a little bit more. I'm personally not a super big fan of colleges would just keep saying request information because I don't want to have to talk to your salesperson. I should be able to get most of the information online and then kind of make a decision for myself if I want to proceed investigating this further. This by no means was an exhaustive list. It was actually a, a couple of examples of programs both at the college and the university level. So you can see now that in clinical research, a lot of it is, are not necessarily degrees. You don't really have a lot of master's in clinical research or PhD in clinical research um, because of course it's an offshoot in uh, like a career where you can come in from various different academic backgrounds. Um, but if you are trying to go in there from a clinical background, uh, maybe you're internationally trained in something like nursing or in medicine or in 
physio or in kinetics, um, anything like that, and you want a stronger clin uh, research foundation, because a lot of the in, um, clinical background kind of courses we do, especially internationally, they don't give us a foundation in research. So for those people living in Canada, this is an excellent way to kind of bridge that gap. The other thing is if you've worked in a part of health sciences, which is not necessarily human subject focused. So for example, if you've done your undergrad in the biological sciences or your master's in the biological sciences and you've done primarily lab based work or computer based work, then this is a good idea to do these kind of certificates and diplomas because this will really reorient you towards thinking of research on human subjects. So it covers a lot on clinical research methodology the kind of ethics you need to apply when working with human subjects, just like handling personal health information, designing these projects, and just everything that goes along with working with humans in a clinical research setting. So if you have done your undergrad, but it's not necessarily in health sciences or nursing or something that's super geared to human work, um, then this is also an excellent way to kind of bridge into the world of clinical research. So get your bachelor's degree in whatever it is that you're doing, finish it up, do something like this, like a certification, and this can help bring you into the world of clinical research by giving you those little additional tools and some work experience as well. Now in the second part, I will be talking about my recommendations for people who are international students or internationally trained graduates and they want to build a career in clinical research in Canada and they want to start by getting into an academic program. Um, from my experiences, and which they are pretty limited to South Asian countries, but a lot of these study permit requirements require that you go into like a full-fledged one-year, two-year diploma or degree program um, and not for like a part-time online self-paced um, kind of online program because online programs won't allow you the opportunity to get a study permit to move to Canada to get full-on like robust hands-on learning experience here. So for those students, I definitely recommend master's level degrees more than just a certification. Um, if you're already living in Canada and you have a bachelor's degree, I recommend a certification. Um, mostly because if you have some kind of a background in science, you don't need a whole lot. And if you have some understanding of the local market and about how the local like job sphere works and how research works locally, and you're simply moving from the lab to clinical work, you don't need a whole lot more knowledge. You just need to know, okay, these are the differences in working with human versus working with mice, working with human versus working in a lab with just a cell line. Um, but as opposed to if you have no um, exposure to the North American job market and you're really trying to like get in for the first time, then I would definitely recommend a full-fledged master's degree, both in terms of your study permit and just in terms of like preparing you for the North American job market. Universities here can be very holistic. They have a lot more resources that go just beyond classrooms, just beyond coursework. Universities have career departments and co-op programs and internships and seminars and extracurriculars and opportunities to work under professors. So there's a whole lot more there than you can utilize as an international student to kind of start getting a taste of the Canadian job market and then ease your way into clinical research. So the first one, and it might be a very competitive one, but that I really recommend is University of Toronto's Masters of Science with a concentration in clinical epidemiology and healthcare research. Um, so this is a really good, good program. If you, if you can get into it, if you have the grades, if you can afford it, this is an excellent program to get your foundations really strong, both in like research statistics aspect of things, as well as like the hands-on clinical research, healthcare research part of things. Um, this program actually also offers a master's and a PhD option, although it really depends on where you see yourself. If you really need to do a PhD, if you really want to be like a principal investigator, full on scientist, academic professor, then a PhD is worth it. If not, if you want to be on the more technical hands on side of clinical research, then a master's is sufficient. Um, now, the second university I want to talk about is Lakehead University, and they actually offer a master's degree in health sciences. Now, I know a lot of them don't have a title that's like clinical this or clinical that. But a health sciences degree is actually a very well-rounded, broad 
um, program to from where you can easily go into clinical research. And that's true even at the undergraduate level. But since this video is more focused on the graduate level, let's talk about the master's programs. Now, there's one at Lakehead University. There's another one being offered by the University of British Columbia, which also mentions in their website that they focus on clinical research methodology. And that is a two year program. So, so most of the master's degrees in Canada are usually 18 months, 24 months, 28 months. So around the two year range. So that is a sufficient time for you to understand life here and the job market here and the networking processes here and just the opportunity to kind of work with professors on campus and off campus and do your summer internships. And it's also a lot easier for you to demonstrate on your study permit application that yes, you are kind of going abroad for a significant period of time to study. It's not just a quick certification. So these are some really good programs to think about. There's also another one from Carleton University, which is also a master's in health sciences that is two years full time. And they have other options of specialization in like data science or non-data science, but that's a topic for a whole other video and a whole other day about the branches of clinical research that you can go into. But for now, let's focus on the fact that a two-year master's degree is something I would personally highly recommend for someone who's an internationally trained clinician or an internationally trained um, university bachelor's graduate, and they're looking for kind of um, a program here to come in and do um, ultimately work in clinical research. There is also University of Northern British Columbia who also offers a master's in health sciences. And again, none of my lists are exhaustive. I have clearly not covered every program in Canada, um, but here are just like, like some top ones that showed up when I was doing my online research. And definitely when you're picking something affiliated with a good university with a good reputation, that's great. Or even with a good college who are known to have good programs, that's like, I think that's cherry on top of the cake because you don't really have to dig too deep into the program to figure out if that's really good or not, or if it's just like some kind of a money-making career private college. You don't have to worry about it if they're already like renowned programs. In terms of doing these master's degrees, what I would tell you is while there's a lot of options to choose from of like whether you want to do like a master's in clinical epidemiology, a master's in healthcare, health science, um, but if you're trying to go into like the qualitative aspects of clinical research or you want to do hands-on work in clinical research and you don't necessarily want to eventually be like a data management specialist or you don't intend to be like a full-on PI, then you don't need to do your master's in biostatistics or um, full-on epidemiology, um, non, not clinical epidemiology, but like full epidemiology or public health because those while they have some overlap with clinical research, they have a bigger focus elsewhere. They look more at population health, broader look at the population, and not just like clinical studies and clinical trials, right? They look at like whole cities and countries and numbers, and there's a lot more math, there's a lot more statistics, especially biostat. So that is a little bit different from clinical research. Yes, they do de like deal with human subject data, but they do it at a very macro level. Whereas clinical research is usually a lot more micro level and you're dealing with like one site, five sites, 10 sites at most. And you're kind of dealing with um, ongoing active, like um, prospective data or experimentation or studies that are going on either like a drug trial or you're looking at like a small clinical study and just like drawing data and like doing it for an academic setting. There is obviously a lot of possibility. You could study public health and go into clinical research, but that's not the easiest way to do this. I think an easier way to do this would be to do a clinical epi or a health sciences masters, which has a lot more focus on clinical methodologies, on ethics, on like other aspects of clinical research that they will tr tr like train you on. Um, of course, there's a completely different um, way to do this as well. If you are internationally claim trained clinician, you can just do your clinical degree here, like relicense here, and that's still also a great way. Whether you were in medicine or nursing, if you wanna come here, do your bridging program, and you wanna be certified here as a nurse, and you wanna be certified here as a doctor, but not practice, and you wanna do research, there's obviously a lot of options to do that as well. But this is assuming that you wanna leave behind your clinician background, and you wanna go more into academia and research from the very first go in Canada. 
All right, so this was it, a pretty long video today about how to enter clinical research and which programs in Canada are like good choices. Again, lots of options to look at both in colleges and universities. If you are local, the online part-time self-paced programs are really great to do when you're working full-time or when you're doing something else or when you know, you're working part-time and looking for what to do next or you're just in a gap year, excellent choice. Um, for international students, I was recommending the master's programs a little bit more than the certifications, both in terms of getting your study permit, um, as well as just having more time and having more in-depth um, studies to kind of learn about clinical research. Having said that, if you are a local, master's is still a really great way to go if you are determined that you want to build a career in, in research and academia. If you're a local and you just don't want to do it technical stuff you just don't want to do the hands-on aspects you want to be in here for the long haul you want to be dr xyz eventually do a phd eventually lead your research team eventually be like a scientist a principal investigator if you are that sure and that dedicated then even for locals i do recommend going the masters and phd route but if you are somebody who wants to try out clinical research for five years and just see how things go, or you can't really commit to something so long-term so soon, then certifications are a good way to go. There are some certifications um, which are OSAP or like your provincial study grant eligible, some that are not. So you'll have to take a deeper look at that and see which one is like more affordable for you, doing which program will actually be um, more financially feasible for you overall. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Once again, this list was not exhaustive. There's a lot of schools and universities and colleges that I did not cover. It's just what happened and what I saw after doing a very quick search is these names popped up and I wanted to let you know how to go about it yourself when you're going through the vast number of programs that are available in Canadian colleges and universities. This is how you can kind of determine which one is right for you and which one is not. So don't forget to keep watching, give it this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Bye.